In this demo, we will be looking at ACI subject labels. This allows us to share contracts while selectively choosing which filters are applicable between different images. Subject labels, therefore, are also useful when we want to share contracts for different purposes. As opposed to creating multiple contracts, we can create contracts with multiple subjects. Subjects can have labels associated, and these allow to select which subjects of a contract will be used by certain EPGs to provide or consume the contract. For instance, in this case, we may have VM1 and VM2, part of different EPGs, use the same contract to reach a particular management station on the management EPG. However, even if they're using the same contract, VM1 may be able to use ICMP and SSH, whereas VM2 will be restricted to ICMP only. This is accomplished because the subject for ICMP has one label and the subject for SSH has a different label. The management EPG will use both labels to select uh, contracts that can use both or to select relationships with EPGs that use this contract with both, I should rather say. Whereas the um, EPG client one is using both and therefore has access to both filters, the EPG server one is only using the gray label. And this means that the contract relationship only allows to use the filter for ICMP. Subject labels can be configured on the API like everything else in ACI. In this case, we're looking at a snapshot of the GUI for a particular contract subject called allow ICMP. Here we can see that we can configure labels for consumed contracts as well as for provided contracts. And we can see that we can select whether we want to use one or more labels and what's the matching criteria, whether it is all, at least one, almost one, or none. For instance, in this case, this configuration here with the label monitor will select EPGs that are consuming contracts that have this label on the uh, provided EPG. Similarly, uh, this configuration also says that this subject will be used where EPGs are providing this contract if they have this label on the subject EPG label configuration. This is the XML configuration where we can see the matching fields for configuring the uh, subject label configuration. We will look at an example of how we can use this. Let's imagine, for instance, that we have a set of four EPGs. The same we've used in other demos with the same IP addresses for the host that we will be using. Client 1, server 1, server 2, and client 2. In this case, let's imagine that all EPGs must be able to uh, provide SSH so that our Ansible tool can be used for configuring these uh, units, these servers. However, we will only be monitoring for keep alive to see if they're alive. We will only be sending pings to uh, check the servers, not the clients. So in this case, it's a simple example to show that we can have a contract called management with two subjects, is ICMP and allow SSH. And then we will see the servers consume both labels, whereas the clients only use the Ansible label. In the APIC, this will look like this we will have an, EP, an application profile with the client one, server one, client two, server two EPGs and contracts enabling communication between them. In addition, we will have the management contract that provides both filters, ICMP and SSH traffic, and it's consumed by the management EPG. The management EPG is consuming uh, filters that have the Ansible and the monitor um, uh, subject labels. In this case, we can see that the ICMP traffic is matching the monitor and the SSH traffic is using the Ansible label. If we look at the actual contract instantiation for the management EPG under the operational tab contracts, the two EPG traffic, we can see the filters that are being applicable for the communications between client one EPG and the management EPG. Client 1 EPG is providing only the contract with Ansible label match. Because it's only using Ansible, it's only going to match that part of the contract. Let's go back to remember that Ansible is the SSH traffic. So this is the only filter that Client 1 will be providing to the management station. And this is exactly what we see here. TCP 22 is a, it's a, the only filter open. However, if we go to server one, server one is providing contracts with both filters because we're using both 
labels, both subject labels, Ansible and Monitor. And therefore, we can select uh, both filters, TCP and ICMP as well. The net result is that from the management station, we can SSH both hosting client 1 and server 1 EPGs, but we can only ping the hosting server 1 EPGs. So we have total granular control while keeping one single contract for representing this policy, as opposed to using separate contracts for these different services. Let's look at this in a demo. So we're looking at the application that we were talking about before, where we have client server, client server EPGs. These are zoned using EPG labels as we have seen in previous demos. But now let us focus on the management EPG. The management EPG is using the management contract to consume communications from uh, to consume this contract for establishing communications with the client and server EPGs. According to this contract, we will be using two different subjects. We can see them here. Allow ICMP and allow SSH. Allow ICMP is using the monitor label and allow SSH is configured with the Ansible label. If we go back to our application, we can see both filters are present in the contract. But now, by adding or deleting labels in the subject label configuration of the EPGs, we'll be able to select whether we use one filter or both of the uh, one subject or both of the contract. In this case, for instance, we can look at the management station configuration and we can look at the subject labels. We are consuming both Ansible and monitor uh, subjects for the contracts which we're consuming that have those uh, labels. In this case, for instance, we can see that client one, client one is uh, providing Ansible. It's also providing internet for another demo that we will look later, but it's, it's not providing the monitor uh, label. Server one, on the other hand, is providing both Ansible and Monitor. So as a result of that, what we see in the actual configuration, in the actual operational status of the EPG for management is that we can see that for client one, we're using TCP only, TCP 22 only, but for server one, we'll be able to ping as well. We can see that very quickly. Dot 108, and we cannot ping this address. However, we can ping 109, that would be our server one. We can also ping 1010, that would be our server on EPG2, but we cannot ping 111, that would be our client two. Port 22, however, is open. It will run an end map 10.10. .10. 108, we will see that we can actually uh, reach it on port 22, even if the SSH daemon is probably not running. There we go. So we see the port is closed but not filtered. Now, if we go back to this configuration and we go back to client one and we just add the monitor label to the provided subjects. we will now be able to ping that IP address 108. But as we remove that label again, that ping stops. Thanks for watching.